Hello, in this video we're looking at Google Keep uh, and the iPad version. So you've already seen my video hopefully on the web browser version. So I'm now going to show you how to use the iPad version. So we're going to go up and open that up. So what is Google Keep? Well, Google Keep allows you to keep notes and create to-do lists. They're a really useful tool to make sure that wherever you are, you can create and collate your notes. So going down the bottom right hand corner, I can click take a note. I've got the, the ability to pin a note at the top of my notes feed. And you can see I've got the ability to delete, make copies, send notes to specific people, add collaborators and add a label. The other thing I can do if I go back is I can create a to-do list and I can just add my items in. And it'll add it to my thing there. And the, the big difference between this and the browser version is you can create an audio note. It'll ask you for permission of your microphone. Um, and then you can speak and it will type for you. So for students who aren't very good at writing notes, potentially they can talk their notes. And you can see it's managing to capture almost what I've said. Uh, Uh, and I can either choose, if we look at it, I can choose to read it or I can choose to play it back. And I can add a title in there. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna do that again. So click on that, go to labels and you can organize them by labels. So I can choose that one. And then I'm done. So now, if I go to the top corner, I can choose everything that's related to work, or I can filter it on blog ideas, or I can just go home. So there you have it, uh, a quick guide to using the iPad version of Google Keep. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and join me again soon.